Hello guys, my name is Paul Chef Filipini and today I'm going to reacting to YTP Master Frown Gets Karma by yung yung Nikiti Show fanatic. Hoping it's gonna be funny and that being said, the video is in link in the description so make sure to subscribe to USF. I told him, I called her Sasha for some time. Sasha. My next, before I start this video, ah, uh, Shaisa. I would only say something strange to this. What happens uh, to this scenario? I so very angry right now because of what happening. The current situation happened of Coach Yang Yao and his teammates right now. This is a chaotic situation that still happening on his team. Domino effect for I call them. Because what happens? Jordan Clarkson is un is unable to play because he was ineligible as a local player number two. Remy Mar then Remy Martin is unable to play for his country because either he was refused by the by the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas or SBP for short and or Coach Yang Giao itself. It was actually a plan as the future Gilas team for the 2023 FIBA World Cup which is hosted by the Philippines and also Japan and Indonesia. I have a great sensitivity right now. I'm not an hypocrite on this statement for all of these supporters and bashers on this video. I am only just in a neutral part. I'm not only, I saying only just a good manner for this, not to bash sometime. Not to bash, okay? There's so many people bashing the Gila's team right now. If the Philippines lost all three games at the 2019 FIBA World Cup at China against Angola, Italy, and Serbia in Group D, what will happen next? This is. I have predicted that they had similar to what I predicted to Jose Kublienkov, but Liu, but Kublienkov had different intention to him. He bash hundreds of times in a row. Why? He bash multiple sports channels because he was a hypocrite channel. He destroys all the channels who are actually this. He decided to destroy a lot of people because of his bashing comments. Because of this, they could then speak against Kublienkov. What will happen to Jose Kublienkov next? He gets hurt from the cha other channels because of his troubles that he created. He predicted all... He said that he could... Yes, of course, he can predict it all of the situation if he predicts that the philippines gets winless on the group stage or group d they will go to the group n which is the next who will battle to the group n teams that are actually also in the third and fourth spot on their group c the group c teams which is iran tunisia Puerto Rico and Spain. This is what happens next. If Philippines lost again at the group and go home with no wins on their match, it would be the worst performance unlike the 2014 match. What will happen? Na predict they predicted that coach that did you know how many times Jose Gublienko comments about he said that he would kill Coach Yang Giao or to assassinate. This is what happens next. He predicted that he can kill Coach Yang Giao as a result. What did he said to this? It's a shit happening right now. Because Coach Yang is already in trouble not only to his national team but to his team on the Philippine Basketball Association or PBA or the PBA because of his team and legs. I'm 
ang on for just Filipino fans will understand this situation not the foreigners some okay not all okay some not all okay only just saying in a right manner in this situation of what happening in this country right now and the national team he predicted that Jose Koblienko can kill Coach Sheng Yao or to assassinate him so let's start by the way I'm still in trouble right now I'm still in trouble and still happening to me right This is the situation right now. The blur. Malabo sa World Cup. Ibig sabi na sinabi. Bakit niya sinabi? Yan? Kasi parang dahil personal problem lang ang dahilan kung bakit malabong umun makapasok si Jason Castro sa World Cup eh. Tito mayroong sitwasyon. Dahil hinihanda pa rin ito ang Hinahanda pa nila iyon. Yung ebidensya na magpapatunay na illegible talaga si Remy Martin. Ano mo naman na mangyayari ang sitwasyon na ito? Domino effect na talaga mangyayari talaga eh. Domino effect. Talagang magiging domino effect na talaga ang mangyayari dito. So, ito yung big ito yung pinakita ko lang yung mga samples ng mga video from W Gameplay PH. Isasama ko na lang din yan sa video. So, shout out ko rin sa kanya yan. So, by the way, babalik tayo dito sa video na YTT Master Frown Gets Karma by USF. So, let's get start this video in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You interrupted me, you sick monster. Na air horn pa, no? What time is it? It's a minute's time. Meanwhile, in North Mall. Meanwhile, pinalakas pa lalo, ah. Uh, hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari dito. Nag-brown out. Anyari? Ano meron? Lux nun ah? Perfect shape. Is it because someone f***ed me? Someone f***ed me? Ginahasa siya? I don't know. Nam nam nami. Nam nam nami. Dapa. This doesn't prove anything. It wasn't me. We caught you red-handed, Brown. You caught red-handed. Okay, let's go. Master Frog went to jail live for something, some fucking it. Tapos na video. Okay. Thank you for watching to this video. So hopefully it's gonna. So the video is linked in the description. So make sure to subscribe to Unikitty Show Fanatic. So see you guys next time. Shaisa.